All right, so here are all the 3D printed pieces we need for making the Terminal 5. We have all the main body pieces up here printed in a blue PLA. Next we have these black TPU pieces down here. Then in yellow here we have our suspension arms, some steering and drive bits. We have our shock towers, knuckles, gears, and a motor mount there printed out of ABS. Then we have our RC printer build kit, which is going to include some fasteners, some rod, bearings, a servo, a D3542 1450kV motor, and a 120 amp brushless ESC. Then we'll need a few other things like some 80 millimeter shocks and the appropriate tires. So let's get to it.
All right, so the next thing we got to do here is grind a little flat spot. So we have something for the set screws of the makeshift pinion we've got going on uh, to attach to there. Now, normally I just use my Dremel for this. Today I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way with a, a little file. It's a good idea to throw your motor inside of a little plastic baggie like this. Poke a little hole, slide the motor in the baggie, and poke the shaft out the hole. And that's just going to make sure any little uh, metal bits that go flying aren't going to end up inside the motor housing. And the next thing we want to do is mark on the motor the location of the flat spot. the set screw so that it's lining up with this hole here. Spin the motor until the mark you made on the shaft lines up with the set screw and then tighten her down. Just like that. Spin it around, tighten up the other side and we are good to go. Beautiful.
Alright, so before I sign off, there's just a few observations I'd like to make about the Tarmo 5. First of all, this is a completely redesigned vehicle from the Tarmo 4. It does use the same motor and ESC combo, and it uses the same 80mm shocks. But otherwise, it needs new tires, new fasteners, new bearings, 6mm steel balls in the CV joints, a special lock collar for the motor shaft, and of course, 100% brand new 3D printed parts. So now this is a rear wheel drive only vehicle, whereas the Tarmo 4 was a four wheel drive vehicle. And that's going to make the drivetrain here a whole lot simpler, and I think that's going to make it last a lot longer as well. The simpler, more rugged drivetrain means that we can throw on much larger tires, and I think that's a nice touch over the Tarmo 4 as well. I really like the ingenuity of some of the parts that Chris has designed into this vehicle. For instance, these TPU torque damper drive shafts here. I used eSun TPU 95A, and it seems to work great. The 3D printed CV joints on the drive end here are pretty neat as well, using 6mm steel balls in them. That's something that I've never seen on a 3D printed car before and they seem to work really great. I really like the battery compartment here running down the length of the vehicle. It gives the build a bit of a minimalist feel. There's really nothing here that's not, you know, 100% required in the vehicle. Although I do wish there was a body or something to kind of cover up some of these electronics, but we'll see what the engineering nonsense community has in store for us in the near future. There are M3 rods running down the whole length of the vehicle, which is going to give it a lot of added stability. They were something that was a bit of a pain to fasten down, but it's not something that you're going to have to remove very often. These TPU plates here that are sandwiched in between the main body pieces are a very interesting idea. These TPU pieces are the mounting points for the upper and lower arms on the front and on the rear. And because they're made out of TPU, they're going to last a really long time. And these control arms here themselves are really beefy. Actually, all parts on this vehicle are really beefy, so they're going to last a long time. And I do like that there are eight identical control arms on this vehicle. So if you break one, they're all the same, and it's really easy to have extras on hand. And one thing I have noticed on this build, and I did notice it on the Tarmo 4 as well, is that all the tolerances are just a bit wider than I would normally like to see. So on all my printers, which I think are pretty well calibrated, and they seem to print out other RC cars fine, I find the screw holes on the Tarmo series are just a little bit wide and printing things like these ball joints for the steering results in just a little bit too much play. Now I suspect that's because Chris the designer's printers are just slightly different than mine, so I think everyone should really consider printing some test pieces before they go ahead and print this whole thing, just to make sure your screws are going to fit nicely into their holes and also to make sure things like your steering aren't too sloppy. However, if you do notice that your steering ends up a bit sloppy, it's really easy to replace these steering arms with just some M3 rod and some RC ball ends there. So if you print some test pieces and you find your screws aren't fitting perfectly, you might want to increase your extrusion or flow rate on your printer just a little bit to make those tolerances just a bit tighter. Now one other thing that I've noticed is that these longer M4 screws that are used as the pivots for these control arms here, uh, because they're not locked into place with any lock nuts, they're just tightened right into the TPU, they can come loose and start to back their way out. Now it's possible recalibrating your printer and maybe increasing your extrusion rate will help that a little bit, but if you find this is the case for you as well, you could just add a little bit of Loctite in here and that's going to help hold that screw in place. Or you could also use longer screws and M4 lock nuts on the end there as well if you'd like. Now obviously in the video there I did have an issue with my central steering link so I had to create a new one that worked better with the servos that we carry. Um, so if you're looking for that, that'll be in the description below. Also if you watch Chris's build videos you may notice that he uses some M4 nuts uh, sandwiched up top on these screws here as well. Uh, but I found that made the screw heads rub against the body so I've removed them and it seems to work better for me. The TPU bumper here is a nice touch and it's well secured with 5 M4 screws so you don't have to worry about picking the model up by it. Overall, I think this is a super slick design and I hope you can find some time to build one of your own. If you are thinking of building your own Tarmo 5, make sure you check out the subreddit engineering NS for more details and for assistance on your build. And if you're looking for a build kit for your Tarmo 5 so you don't have to source all the parts yourself, you can check out our website at rcprinter.com where we have build kits for this guy available but also many different 3D printed RC models to make your builds as easy as possible. So until next time, happy printing!